the parameter length is the distance between the center point to the job center point of the cutter to the job and swing angle is same as the one which we have already explained in the closed area uh, the when you give swing angle there are two swing angles formed one is for engage and one is for retract and if you defined some particular angle the entry will be in that particular angle the angle is the angle formed between the imaginary straight line and the entry line which we required and next is ramp angle ramp angle is before the cutting depth it, the smooth angular movement that is required that if you define uh, generally we use for use somewhere between 5 to 15 degree and height is same as same logic between the height in closed area as well as in open area it's it's the plunging height and minimum clearance we have two options here and one is none and other two are uh, trim and extend and extend only and when you opt for extend you uh, the extend length is calculated based on uh, so the shape I have shown in this on the slide in that case let's say uh, we require 10 mm clearance to clear this path from uh, the job profile and this tandem is considered throughout the throughout the the cutting movement and you can see that in some areas there will be wastage of time and to prevent that you can always out for trim and extent so you can minimize the wastage movement of cutting and in minimum clearance distance it, the distance between the entry point I mean the job and the diameter of the cutter and when you click on ignore blank on trim side it will ignore the blank shape and then consider the clearance distance only so next is linear relative to cut the only difference between linear and linear relative to cut is the engage movement will be tangential to the cutting path so uh, the rest remains the same next is arc in arc you have to define the uh, radius of the arc and then arc angle because you are not defining the entry point here and the rest, rest all values remains the same and if you want a movement something like uh, the cutter should first enter the center of the arc and then it should engage the arc profile arc parameter and then it should start cutting so if you need those type of movement cut engage type movements you can opt for start at arc you can check this box next is point you define any point and it will create an automatic arc between those two points based on the values and the point you created and rest remains the same and effective distance is let's say uh, you have defined an effective distance of 500 percentage of the tool and if this points entry points is outside those uh, effective distance it will consider a straight line movement or if these points are within the uh, effective distance it will create uh, a point type of I mean from the point it will connects the cutting in an arc shape and cuts the part so if you want to opt for point and if you can make sure that this point is within the effective distance and this case you can value uh, you can enter the value of effective distance or you can opt for none
and next time gauge type is linear along vector so automatically uh, a vector an engage type is formed calculating the length height and the vector direction vector that you are defined in we can we have three engage type based on vector one is linear along vector then is angle angle plane so in this we have defining swing angle ramp angle and you define a plane and automatically so software will calculate and uh, enter it engage type next is vector plane you define a plane and define a vector and automatically and x calculates the engaged uh, engage type and you can always play around with the uh, a vector and the plane to get a proper engage type and next is none if it's a closed area you can op open area as none so since it's a for this particular job it I prefer to have uh, either linear or arc I'll go for linear then uh, length I'm going to define as 80% and swing angle uh, will be same and ramp will be 15 degree height as 5 mm minimum clearance as trim and extent and minimum clearance distance will be 50% um, of the tool and next is in initial closed area if uh, there are so many jobs and let's say the first um, job will be something uh, sim I mean something close to the uh, closed area profile you can always opt for initial closed area and the engage type will be engage times remains the same you can either opt for same as closed area same as initial open area or helix all these parameters are similar either to the closed area or open area which we have already discussed so I am opting for none and initial open area I'm opting for none because we have uh, only one job and this the value I have already set opt is in get type as linear and thus remains the same and all the other non cutting moves will be explained explained in next video click OK OK save this part save it in uh, finished 